the Barbie legacy is so intrinsically tied with fashion brands throughout history, and wearing something high fashion definitely feels right for the character. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for Margot Robbie's next-level Barbiecore fashion moments around the world while promoting the billion-dollar box office hit. Uh, we were going to wear this in Tokyo. We never got to make it there, so dusted it off and pulled it out for tonight. Number 20, so many micro minis. Thank goodness we have moments like Palm Springs International Film Festival where you have your two Barbies, you know, to prop you up, literally. Margot Robbie loves a mini and donned a seemingly endless array of daring dresses and skirts in various shades of Barbie's signature pink. Over the summer, Robbie and her castmates appeared on The Kelly Clarkson Show, where she sported a Valentino monogrammed mini dress. While hitting photo calls and interviews, she showed off several Versace creations, including a metallic leather mini from the brand's collaboration with Barbie co-star Dua Lipa. Robbie also wore a Versace La Greca ruched mini in Mexico and a bubblegum ensemble at an event in NYC. She debuted another attention-getting dress in Palm Springs, a pink polka dot number by Balma. These leg-bearing looks weren't modeled after specific dolls, but they are still the essence of Barbie core. But Barbie's been around for 64 years. It's kind of insane that something that continuously topical and, uh, you know, popular for that long hasn't had a live-action film before. Number 19, Pink and Fabulous in LA. I think Barbie's been capturing people's attention since the day she was invented, and she is an icon, but she's a very complicated one. On June 25th, 2023, Margot Robbie's stylist Andrew Muckamal went for a more contemporary Barbie muse for a press junket and photo call in Los Angeles, styling Robbie in a flirty frock similar to Pink and Fabulous Barbie from 2015. Robbie radiated Barbie energy in a custom Valentino pink and white polka dot mini dress featuring a crisscross halter top and midriff cutout. Of course, a pair of white Manolo Blahnik BB pointed toe pumps tied it all together. But that's not all. The yellow shoulder bag and SIL pearl bracelet really pop against the pink and white, which is fitting since the Barbie star stood out at the event. Number 18, 90s Archival Revival. Welcome home. Look at this reception. Do you ever get used to this? No, never, never. Every time it's so surreal. On June 30th, 2023, Margot Robbie was in her homeland of Australia for multiple Barbie fan events. For an outdoor event, she rocked a pink Versace turtleneck and metallic skirt combo once donned by Kate Moss in the 90s. She rounded out the preppy look with socks and white-heeled loafers. Then, for that night's celebration at the Museum of Contemporary Art, Robbie continued the 90s archival vibe with a metallic Atelier Versace mini dress previously sported by Claudia Schiffer. The shimmering, blush-toned party dress featured a corset-style bodice atop a stunning skirt complemented by clear heels and eye-catching chrome nails. Number 17, Perfect Day Prada. This is the best day ever. It is the best day ever, and so is yesterday, and so is tomorrow, and every day from now until forever. <laughs> Ahead of the Barbie movie's summer release, stars Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling turned out at CinemaCon 2023 in Las Vegas, the first stop on their global press tour. The two dressed to impress, with Robbie wearing a matching pink and white Prada set complete with pink Louboutin heels and subtle jewels. The ensemble feels like a riff on a gingham look Barbie dons in the movie, minus the matching hat and seashell necklace. The outfit is also reminiscent of the character's perfect day outfit, which many have pointed out looks like a pink version of Dorothy's blue dress in The Wizard of Oz. Barbie each day, her outfit is already magically here in her wardrobe. She opens the doors. All she needs to do is look at it, gives a spin, and then it's on her body. We're thinking Barbie and Dorothy go on a similarly wild adventure exploring uncharted waters, so it's a fitting homage. To the real world. You can go back to your regular life, or you can know the truth about the universe. The choice is now yours. The first one, the high heel. You have to want to know, okay? Do it again. Number 16, totally hot, totally cool in Mexico. Totally hot, totally cool. Margot Robbie wowed once again at the July 7th Mexico City photo call in a colorful Emilio Pucci printed mini dress modeled after Totally Hair Barbie, one of the best-selling dolls in the brand's history. And fun fact, Barbie fashion designer Carol Spencer was actually influenced by the Pucci brand when creating the 1992 doll. You've got something special. When it came to hair, hairstylist Bryce Scarlett crimped the actress's blonde locks to match the doll's wonderfully long wavy tresses. And the enthusiasm and the excitement, the fact that everyone was just, it just felt like such an explosion of joy 
um, that I thought, oh my gosh, if I could just take this snapshot and hold on to it forever, um, I would never be sad again. However, the length was wisely kept reasonable instead of having Robbie's hair down to her pink Manolo Blahnik pumps. And did you notice her ring pop ring? We can't get enough of it. Number 15. Channeling Cher Horowitz in Chanel the night before the 2024 Academy Awards, Margot Robbie attended the pre-Oscars Chanel and Charles Finch party wearing what else but head-to-toe Chanel. Carrying a small, quilted bag with the brand's famous logo, she rocked a black miniskirt and jacket set with vibrant feathered trim, a fiery look right off the runway. Robbie's makeup look favored warmer tones with a velvety lip shade she described as poppy brown, completing the coppery colors of the wild blazer. It's giving Cher Horowitz in her iconic Alaya ensemble from Clueless, and we are obsessed. Down on the ground, face down. Come on! Oh no, you don't understand. This isn't a liar. Robbie has served more than just one share worthy number, though. Back in June, her yellow Chanel tweed skirt suit and white Kristen Louboutin me dolly heels had fans swooning. I wasn't actually a Bobby fanatic as a child. I actually don't even, even know if I owned a Bobby, but my cousin had Bobbies and Bobbies were just omnipresent throughout my childhood because, you know, she's everywhere. Number 14. Ravishing Red in London After channeling Enchanted Evening Barbie at the London premiere, Margot Robbie stepped out in a custom Delara Fendicolu red mini dress made from Duchess satin. With its corseted bodice and lacing up the back, this head turner was stunning from every angle. Robbie kept her Asael pearl earrings and updo from the premiere and added a matching red satin clutch and pair of Maison Ernest Lidil mules to tie the all red look together. The daring ultra mini took inspiration from the swimsuit worn by 1962's brunette bubble cut Barbie, which interestingly was reproduced in a 2009 set that came with the enchanted evening gown. The pairing was a subtle connection that the most dedicated Barbie collectors likely appreciated. Number 13. Radiant Rose at the Critics' Choice Awards In another crimson departure from the pinkness of Barbie Land, Margot Robbie graced the Critics' Choice Awards draped in a custom Balmain off-the-shoulder sculpted leather gown adorned in handmade roses. Tell me a secret about this look. Uh, it's leather. I know. How they, how them Balmain did this with leather, I do not understand, but it's stunning and I'm thrilled to be wearing it. The exquisite body-hugging creation was crafted with the French designer's wet leather on bust technique. Hairstylist Bryce Scarlett fashioned Robbie's golden locks into a romantic low bun. Though it's unconfirmed by Andrew Muckamal, fans noted that the dress resembled 1996's Radiant Rose Barbie, albeit in a much different silhouette. It's Barbie-esque. It's not replicating a Barbie, but it, you know, it gives Barbie vibes. However, nail artist Tom Bacek was intentional in his mannequin manny that gave Robbie's nails a doll-esque look. Even the sizable Lorraine Schwartz diamond drop earrings and matching ring evoked the eye-popping jewels of classic Barbie. You know when everyone's like, oh, this is so unexpected. This is actually unexpected. <laughs> this, this was not a part of the show. No. But we're very grateful nonetheless. Number 12. One last look at the Oscars. Despite Margot Robbie not receiving a nomination for Best Actress, the Academy Awards was still a highly anticipated event, especially for fashion fans eagerly awaiting her final look. But unlike other red carpets, she went for a dress that was decidedly not Barbie-centric. Robbie arrived at the Dolby Theatre in a strapless brown-black sequin column dress with a rounded neckline and ruche detailing at the waist from Versace's Fall Winter 2024 collection. The star added a little more shine with a golden diamond braided cuff and a matching ring from Fred Layton. Robbie's tousled tresses and minimal makeup topped off the overall effortlessly elegant ensemble. She later upped the glam at Vanity Fair's after party in a gold vintage Mugler corseted bodysuit with beaded embellishments and a bronze shawl. Number 11. The Original. We would go to the beach. Is that a trick question? One of Margot Robbie's first Barbie press tour looks was inspired by none other than original Barbie from 1959. Barbie dressed for swim and fun is only $3. At Sydney's Bondi Beach, the actress wore a black and white striped dress by Hervé Leger, nearly identical to the OG swimsuit. Robbie's stylist Andrew Muckamal paid tribute to the iconic doll's complete look with white shades from Jacques-Marie Mage, Spinelli Kilcullen golden hoop earrings, and a cherry red manicure. Her perfect pony for its part was the icing on top of the Barbie cake. The black open-toe Manolo Blahnik heels cemented the vintage pinup look, a brand that would become a must-have for the rest of the tour.
Number 10, Chic Chanel at the Oscars Nominees Luncheon. Chanel has so many options when it comes to accessories, so it did help get into character. It felt right for the character. If there's one thing we learned during the Margot Robbie and Andrew Muckamal fashion tour and throughout the Barbie movie, it's that she always looks unbelievably chic in a skirt suit. Can we have an experiment with newsreader Barbie? and get you to read the last headline yes. that we didn't quite get to? Would you be yes. happy to do I, that? I'm, yes. Okay. From a baby blue Mew Mew twinkling tweed set to a cropped black and white sequin Moschino number, Muckamel has kept us fed with look after look. A hands-down favorite made an appearance at the Oscar nominees luncheon in February of 2024. The baby pink three-piece suit embellished with silver sequins from Chanel's spring-summer 1994 collection. There were some incredible outfits that I actually got to wear that Claudia Schiffer herself, who's kind of like a real-life Barbie, wore. In fact, one of the archival suits that I wore had the little label saying Claudia on it. The bandeau top, cropped jacket, high-waisted tweed miniskirt, and matching mini handbag combo simply glowed under the lights. Robbie's subtle and sophisticated aesthetic extended to her micro-French manicure and minimal makeup. Definitely, definitely fun to look at. Number 9. An Enchanted Evening in London Before the July 12th European premiere of Barbie, the titular star was once again the image of elegance. Margot Robbie stepped out in a custom Vivian Westwood pale pink satin strapless gown with a rose at the hip, draping train, and white opera gloves. The beautifully regal look was inspired by 1960s Enchanted Evening Barbie. The easy updo showed off her layered Asael pearl choker and matching earrings, which we're able to see even better sans her white fur. The dress stops at her ankles, revealing clear Christian Louboutin heels with crystals for added sparkle to celebrate the magical night. Number 8. Trailblazing in Crystal Couture Barbie has been the most amazing pink fever dream, so I want to thank Greta Gerwig for cracking the code on this film. February 2024, master stylist Andrew Muckamel went into Vivian Westwood's archives for one of Margot Robbie's most striking looks. The dual nominee hit the red carpet of the 13th annual Australian Academy of Cinema and Television Arts Awards in an off-the-shoulders corset dress made from a crystal-covered fabric. Talk about wow. The glittering gown was a custom recreation of Westwood's iconic pirate bride dress from the designer's spring-summer 1998 collection. While Muckamal didn't name a specific Barbie inspiration, the shimmering ensemble was somewhat reminiscent of dolls like 1983's Crystal Barbie and 1992's Secret Hearts Barbie. I've got the secret, secret hearts Barbie. Ooh. The secret is in your gown. I can make hearts go round. Robbie kept hair, makeup, and accessories simple and still looked absolutely iridescent as she took the stage to accept the award for Best Lead Actress, as well as the Trailblazer Award. So to be here on the Gold Coast receiving this tonight, knowing that all my wildest dreams really did come true, is unbelievably special to me, and I cannot thank you enough actors for giving me this moment. Number 7. Sparkling Pink in Seoul Margot Robbie brought the shine to a Seoul press conference in July, wearing an embellished custom skirt suit from Moschino, channeling a brighter, pinker version of 1964's Sparkling Pink Barbie. Muckamal's version also showed off more skin with a crop top and a shorter skirt. This glitz and glam getup would look amazing in any setting, but it positively glowed under the lights and among the flashing cameras. With her pillbox hat, adorable heart-shaped purse, and staple Manolo Blahnik heels, Robbie effortlessly slayed yet another impossibly pink carpet. Color us incredibly impressed. Number 6. Earring Magic in Mexico Earring Magic Barbie, gonna be styling for a date. Earring Magic can make you look great. Earring Magic Barbie. At Mexico's Barbie premiere, Margot Robbie channeled another one of the most iconic Barbies from the 90s by wearing a Panama custom leather mini dress. Inspired by 1992's Earring Magic Barbie, the hot pink strapless number featured a fitted bodice with long sheer mesh sleeves. Of course, she accessorized with the dangling silver earrings we know and love, along with a matching chain belt that was reminiscent of the doll's very own. Mixing, matching, looking hot. Robbie also rocked a fabulously crimped hairdo courtesy of Bryce Scarlett. And the whole thing comes together to take us back to the 90s in the absolute best way. Number 5. Black Magic Barbie 
One of Margot Robbie's most stunning looks kicked off the beginning of awards season. In November of 2023, she attended the 33rd annual Gotham Awards in New York City wearing a Prada recreation of 1964's Black Magic Barbie. Robbie donned a black strapless mid-length cocktail dress with a matching sheer cape tied with a satin bow at the collar. I feel like we did exactly what we wanted to do, so. Did you keep any of her clothes? No. What? I don't have anything. Keeping with the all-black palette, she wore chic leather gloves and open toe Manolo Blahnik mules. From the Asael pearl earrings to the metallic gold clutch, the ensemble perfectly replicated the iconic vintage look, completed by Robbie's classic updo and light makeup. According to the star herself, Black Magic is said to be Barbie inventor Ruth Handler's favorite doll. This actually was a Barbie. This outfit is a replica of a 1964 Barbie, I think. It was Ruth Handler's favorite Barbie. It's also beloved by Barbie collectors, and we can definitely see why. I mean, she's pretty iconic, so it uh, is obviously a huge honor, and um, it feels quite befitting for the moment that I feel like the movie had. Number four, show-stopping Scaparelli couture at the SAG Awards. If there are two colors that have become synonymous with Margot Robbie's latest fashion era, it's pink and black. She sported both at the BAFTAs in an Armani Privé black velvet and sequin column dress with pink silk paneling down the front. For the Screen Actors Guild Awards, Muckamal put a spin on the classic little black dress, styling Robbie in a couture creation from Scaparelli designer Daniel Roseberry's 2020 fall collection. The strapless mini dress featured an oversized sculptural Barbie pink sash wrapped at the waist and shoulder, cascading down the side and behind like a train. Robbie's black suede Manolo pumps and delicate diamond anklet were just the right touch to the walking art piece. Number three, day to night Versace. Margot Robbie touched down in South Korea on July 1st and gave us instant heart eyes with her sweet Moschino ensemble. Little did we know she had something even bigger in store for the next night's pink carpeted premiere. I don't have anything big planned, just a giant blowout party with all the Barbies and planned choreography and a bespoke song. You should stop by. She outdid herself in a Versace pink and white power suit skirt set, like 1985's Day to Night Barbie. She arrived in full-on Barbie camp, proudly donning the hat and bedazzled 80s phone. Of course, anyone familiar with the doll hoped for a second outfit to be revealed. Robbie definitely delivered, trading in her professional day look for a ready-to-party night one in a layered tulle skirt and a sequined bodice. We girls can do anything, right, Barbie? Number two, a shimmering superstar swap at the Golden Globes. Uh, what made you decide to wear pink today? I don't know. I just woke up and I thought maybe this would be appropriate tonight. Who is this pink from? This is Armani, and it wow. is Superstar Barbie from 1977. Superstar Barbie, you are Superstar Barbie. For the 81st annual Golden Globe Awards, Margot Robbie stepped into another decade, rocking a hot pink look inspired by 1977's Superstar Barbie. The nominee dominated the red carpet in a hot pink custom Giorgio Armani Privé v-neck sequined gown wrapped in a dotted tulle boa. Her blonde tresses were styled in a 70s-era middle part with loose waves swept back to show off her Lorraine Schwartz diamonds. The actress-producer spent the night celebrating Barbie's wins, notably the first-ever Golden Globe for cinematic and box office achievement. This is a movie about Barbie, but it's also a movie about humans. We made it, it's about you. We made it for you, and we made it with love, and thank you for loving it back. For the after-party festivities, Robbie swapped the pink floor-length gown for Superstar Barbie's slightly shorter, nearly identical black and silver shimmer dress. Another jaw-dropping outfit transformation for the books. It's just fun to keep surprising people. It's fun, I think with the Barbie movie, we gave people something they didn't know they actually wanted, and, uh, and to keep doing that is, is such a joy. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Cherry Pie Picnic Barbie by Bottega Veneta one of the more casual doll-inspired looks. Balma Black and White Tuxedo Mini. This Barbie is an executive producer with style. Vintage Chanel in Transit. Channeling Travel Barbie in another Claudia Schiffer callback. Strawberry Moschino Ensemble. Robbie kept it retro at Bondi Beach. Bubblegum Pink Two-Piece. 
Barbie's dream car is the ultimate accessory for this Bottega Veneta ensemble. I do remember the first time I was fully kitted out as Barbie, and I did have that kind of giddy moment of like, Ooh, I look so pretty, wow! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Solo in the Spotlight at the LA Premiere Every new city we go to, I get to do a whole new Barbie reference and then it's my new favorite. So right now, this is my favorite. As we've seen, it doesn't have to be pink to be Barbiecore. Margot Robbie further demonstrated this at the movie's world premiere in Los Angeles on July 9th. The star went old Hollywood glam, gracing the pink carpet in a Scaparelli haute couture black sequined embroidered gown designed by Daniel Roseberry. The fashion house's creative director and company modeled the gorgeous dress after Solo in the Spotlight Barbie from 1960, even replicating an intricate detail like the blush handkerchief. Roseberry also adorned the dramatic mermaid tulle skirt with a hand-painted rosette. The vintage look was topped off with a pony fit for the 60s, gorgeous gloves, and stunning Lorraine Schwartz diamonds. If celebrity stylists are eligible for awards, Andrew Muckamel deserves all of them. I mean, tonight we're doing Solo in the Spotlight Barbie, and uh, I think it was like the first evening gown sort of Barbie, so it felt appropriate for tonight. Which amazing Barbie Margot look was your favorite? Are you buying the Barbie The World Tour coffee table book? Spread the fashion love in the comments below. Bye, Barbie. Bye, Bye Barbie. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.